let's first check to see if you have git installed on your Windows machine before we do anything. Open up a command prompt and type in git dash dash version. And if you see this, git is not recognized as an internal or external command message, then git is probably not installed. You can also do where git to see similar confirmation. So if that's the case for you, let's go ahead and install Git on Windows. Open up a web browser and go to git-scm.com slash download slash win, and then click on the click here to download to download the latest version of Git for Windows. When it's done downloading, open up the installer and let's go through the setup together. Click next, 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 and next. And for the default editor, I really like Vim, but if you're not familiar with that, you should probably choose a text editor like Notepad. Let's continue and since most default options are fine, click next, 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 and next. And then the installation will finally take place. When that's done, untick the release notes checkbox and click finish. Next, open another command prompt window and we can now verify that git is installed by doing git dash dash version again and seeing that we have version 2.37 installed and in this case where git will tell us where the program is installed at. I'm now going to show you an example of how to clone a repository. I'm going to go to my GitHub page and open up my video flow project. And by clicking on this code drop down and copying the repository's URL, I can simply go back to my command prompt and do git clone and then paste the URL of the repository. Executing that will download all of the files of the repository onto your computer, as you can see right here. If you found this video helpful, you're going to love my introduction to Git video right here, which will teach you all the basic Git commands that you need to know. So watch that and subscribe.